I don't know what day this is going to be for you guys, but I now need to go shopping and get some new ingredients for my, my meal plans. Oh. This is how pathetic I am. I have to do everything. That's all for me. All of it. <laughs> the best thing about it is, though, he spelled everything out for me. It's just going to take me a little while to get used to it. Yeah. Well, let's get this some work. God, that would just be the pattern of how the day's going today if that phone fell on the floor, wouldn't it? I can't begin to tell you. <laughs> Woke up this morning to the lovely information that Ada was actually poorly. She's had one half a day at school. One half a day, guys and girls. One half a day. And now she's off today. And she's going to be off tomorrow because she's sick. But not from the mouth. So obviously I've not done any work today. It's half past one. I've got that DVD player that needs to go out to you, my friend. That'll be out today. Today is the last day I've got to post it. So I'm not behind, but I'd like to get it done before that. So yeah, Emma's came home and she's going to finish the other half of the day so I can get some work done. Which is very kind, I suppose, and partnership worthy thing. Is that how it takes? I don't know what the word's called. Look at all this packaging I've got. I had a delivery yesterday. All the boxes and bubble wrap and whatever else. I've got nowhere to stick the fucking thing. Anyway, we are going to do some sales today. Congratulations to Charlie. He's reached out to me to claim his frog. We're going to draw the winner for the sticker today as well. But as always, babies, we're going to show you what's been selling. You see me buy it. So you might as well see me sell it. I do apologise, by the way, how this video goes. And it is probably going to be over a couple of days, this one. But I'm a bit like Miss, Con Miss Congeniality. Discombobulated. <laughs> I'm on day two of my new diet and workout plan as well. I am struggling with the most basic tasks. You have to remember, my food, my diet consisted of chucking something in the air fryer or grabbing something from Greg's. That was as far as my prep went. Now I'm fucking chopping salads and tomatoes and I'm getting salad and stuff everywhere. I've got my wraps today, burnt packaging of the wraps I was trying to cook. And as I was cooking, I moved it on the wrong hob, put the bloody packet down and burnt all the plastic. Smell plastic, plastic infused with the wraps. I had to cut that bit of the wrap out. I've got no space to prepare a wrap. So I brought XL wraps and I wasn't thinking straight. So I put the wraps on top of the wrap pack where the wraps was open, put all my sauces on. As I went to fold it, all the other wraps which are already covered in a nice coating of plastic and now covered in a nice coating of Nando sauce, which I'm not allowed to have, but I had it anyway, because I'm a rebel. And if I don't do things like that, I'll just fall off. I think we can have that as leeway, can't we? But I just can't begin to tell. So I've got her upstairs on the toilet every 10, 15 minutes. Daddy, get go on my bum. I've got the house burning down from plastic and wraps, salad all over the floor, fingers just covered in every salad juice and whatever else juice you can think of. And I've done no fucking work today. So let's get into it. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's only, there's only a few on there. That's handy. There's only a few to put on today's video. That's good. We are going to stretch this to a couple of days. So for £14 all in, these Vans trainers, what did I pay for them? Can you remember? I'm not sure if these are the ones from the car boot for £4, which I've sold. I can't remember. I would never have paid no more than a fibre for a pair of Vans because I'm a tight ass. They sold for £14 and I had a message come along with it as well from Tread Trader over on eBay. So I'm guessing these are going to be cleaned up again and resold. So please do go check out Tread Trader on eBay if you want to get yourself some kicks. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what they sell. If they don't, you're going to go see a blank page, aren't you? But it says, me and my wife love your channel. We watch it every day. You're a legend, man. Keep up the good work. Have a good day, Martin and Vicky. And you put your surname, but I'm not going to say that just in case. Really appreciate you both massively. These are going to be on their way to you ASAP, I guess. <sighs> Who's outside? Sorry, ring doorbell. They'll be on their way to you soon. And for a grand total of one, two, three, four, we have sold another Michelin cap. This has a note as well. This is an interesting note, this one. Ricky, I normally watch you in the mornings as a routine with waking up. Anyway, happened to watch a recent one just now within a couple of hours of you posting and usual fire social media content. Thank you, Dave. However, you were very emotional in one of the clips. I am slightly worried, not overly, but enough to warrant a bit of my like, not overly, but enough to warrant a bit of like my two pennies. I'm guessing you mean enough to say my two pennies. eBay should be backseat burner sometimes. Fam first. eBay, although funds priority, somehow you've got to make it territory if that makes sense. 
Not massively, but that's probably because of me, Dave. From a proper fan. Ha. Cheers, Dave. Massively appreciate that. I'm not too sure which comment you mean. Which um, scene you mean about me being emotional. Because you said it was you watched it within a couple of hours of me posting it today. Maybe it was another one that you watched within the reason. If it was the one with me in a pink jumper, yeah, there was emotion there. But um, I'm absolutely fine, mate, honestly. This, I'm absolutely living at the moment. I'm really appreciative for the... By the way, thank you for the purchase. I really do appreciate that. Because I know I'm about, I'm about to go on a tangent. I'll just feel it. I'm blessed to be in the position where I am. My bank balance is nowhere near as healthy as my freedom balance. But I think I would much rather have the freedoms that I have over than... If somebody said to me, you can have more money, but you've got to lose more freedom, i.e. you cannot take your daughter to dance classes, you cannot take your daughter to school, you cannot pick her up, you cannot do these things that most people have to have external help to do. And all these little things like, I want to go to the shop. I've just realised I, I need to nip to the shop. I'm going to go to the shop. Oh, I've got a car MOT today. I can just book it because I don't need to ask my... Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of freedom is what I mean. I'm not completely free. I've got missus and kids, mate. But I am in. I am not ignorant enough to realise what fortunate situation I'm in. And I've grafted to get here. This isn't just a fairy tale dream. Nothing was given to me. This wasn't... This isn't like a do nothing, get something kind of situation. I'll work my ass off. And I've worked my ass off to get to this position as well, where eBay is my income and YouTube is my second income. Nothing's given to me. The videos don't edit themselves. The products don't find themselves, clean themselves, fix themselves, list themselves, pack themselves. Even me doing this right now, you could class it as work. It's all a part of the social sphere that I am building, have built, and the community, which are all lovely, by the way, or the majority of you. There's one or two of you. I'm piss off. That I'm building and have built. It's all part of that. And I love it. I honestly do love it. So if I do come across like I'm depressed about the situation, if you watch this video, then every time you see that, unless I'll tell you I'm going through something, because I will, because I think it's quite important to share and be open. I wouldn't share every last little thing with you, but I share the majority, especially about like, how I'm feeling. I think it's important to talk about it. It's very important. Nobody talks enough. You know, people hold everything in and next thing you know, you know. But um, I'm not depressed. I'm not upset. I'm not, what was the word? Very emotional. Yeah, I get emotional. If it's the one that I'm thinking of with the pink top when I was talking about Josh, yeah, I've got emotional about that. Because I was talking about a time when practically a random stranger who had been following my story for a while, I guess, uh, helped me. It was emotional. But outside of that, when it comes to like eBay family first and eBay funds priority and stuff, brother, I promise you I'm good. I'm very good. Could it be better? Yes. Would I enjoy more money? Yes. But if that meant trading it for something else, which I am giving my time to somebody else for that money, no, I'm happy just paying the bills at the moment. As long as my bills are paid and I've got enough in the bank that if I did want to, apart from the stupid diet, just grab a Domino's quickly, I will. I can't just go out and buy brand new stuff, nice stuff, fancy stuff whenever I want. I bought the um, DJI and stuff. That comes out of the business. It's a business-funded purchase. My business will pay for that. Ricky Lee doesn't. Ricky Lee Resales does. Yeah, my personal bank account is almost always zero. I transfer what I need from the business account. That might be a good video to do, actually, like how to manage your business funds or how I manage my business funds, because what I say is not always going to be the correct way, but it's what works for me. We'll do that, yeah. But cut a long story short, I'm fine. I'm great. Honestly, I'm okay. Yeah, that's it. Dave, thank you for your concern. I do appreciate it. I think there might be some kind of miscommunication there or misreading of a situation. But at least I know that you've always got my back. Dave, I appreciate you, mate. This is a really nice hub. just realised how lovely and thin it is. I'm starting to wish I didn't list it now. But yeah, we're into pure profit on that hat bundle now. Over on Vinted now for a grand total of £10.86, I think it is. £10.66, something like that. £10.66. Karen has picked up the Hugo Boss waffle knit jumper that was part of that big spend up well, i say big like 110 quid all that 
grab stuff and whatever else. This is almost dwindling to the last of it now. Karen's picked this one up. I think you watched the channel because you said, I sent you a funny number. And the offer was, oh yeah, 1066, Battle of Hastings. So I appreciate it, mate. Karen, on its way to you. 0800 00 1066. Ah, some of you whippersnappers won't know that, will you? Fucking hell, you're old. Uh, Danny's picked this up and says, Hi, Ricky. Saw the video and I was waiting for it to come up here. What's the best you can do on it? Many thanks. Sent him an offer of £12 and he said, Legend, thank you. So I picked this up yesterday for £2 or £2.50, £3. Sold it today for £12. It's just good business. Massively appreciated, Danny. That's nothing what it sounds like. And for £15, I paid £5 from the car boot sale a couple of weeks ago. The Vegas or Veja, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's V-E-J-A, have sold for £15. £5 into £15, we'll take it. And that's it for the sales today. Like I said, I've got a weird one, so I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I know I said I was going to see you tomorrow, but it's still the same day. I'm going to go see what's in the Chazza. That's Domino's, you can't see it. It's there, promise. I'll see you in a minute. See if we can do it without getting run over. It's actually quite late for me today, 3.30. Afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? Good. How do you? Good, it's good. I like good. What is that absolute beautiful and ugly thing at the same time? You can here today. That's all right. You take a bin bag of Christmas decorations with you. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's not bonfire night yet, An unfortunately. Entire bin bag. Yeah, it's not bonfire night yet. When it's, bon <laughs> when it's bonfire night, I'll take them all. He's back again, look, eh? I can't help myself. He really he does loves it in here. Is it a day of the week, is it? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. I'll probably get to empty all them clothes by the look of it. You've got some bits on there that I like the look of. Oh, what is it? Mean? Is the money all right? Is Shay? Move that away. No, I'm just thinking I might be able to make some space for you. Please do. Depends how much are they? 450. Think that'll fit me. I bet it will. No, I'll just have it. Have a laugh. What are you saying? Let me see if I, let me see if I'm clear a quick gap quickly. There you go. I'll take that one. Sick bug already. It's been great. I think I want that one as well. Yeah, I meant the Christmas decoration. Yeah. Got a few cool little bits there. There's still a few more bits for me to go through, but. They're sorting stuff out, so I can't. Is that a, a gun? I bet you're about 50 quid, aren't you? Five quid? Maybe, I'll research it. I know gun's good, but it depends if it's the new ones or not. Well, things like Berkey's, they're always mental, but... A Morgan bag there. Sort of perfumes one. God. What are you doing over here? Who are you sleepy bunnies? 25. I can manage that. I was just making a video for somebody and I caught that on camera. <laughs> Who's paying for that? Do you want to pay for it, Ricky? You are, we saw you. Bugger off. <laughs> Where are you putting the big bits? It goes to our bin, love. Oh, you got a dustpan? Nothing but dramas in this place, is there? <laughs> Honestly, that is two days in a row that she's took that vacuum round and smashed something. My camera's the wrong way around. There we go. Yeah, two days she's done that. Just some nice little bits. She said to me as I was checking out, you realise he growls, but I don't really know how. Oh. It's not one of them things, isn't it? That was actually pretty fucking good, to be honest. Right, let's go home and see what we got. Oh shit, I found a hole in that one already. Damn. Uh, I know I said I'll see you tomorrow, but uh, the day plan's out the way. The day plan's out. Pans out. Pans out. That shot, right old drama, bless him. That's two days in a row they've smashed stuff now. I think I've already said it. Right, 
Let's have a look and see what we picked up. Little Gund Bear, Gund Classic. He... Don't know how to make it do. I don't know exactly how to do it. I'm sure I'll figure it out by the time you can sell it. Thought I'd better put this in the video before yours finger starts tapping. I figured it out, all right. Up. Fuck. Down. Back to activate. Down for the crowl. But he's in immaculate condition. Look at that. He is a more modern one. He's a gunned classic. But for a fiver, I should see 18 quid back on that. Unless I do some research and find out the fact that it's a growler. Gross. Might make it worth a bit more money. Not bad. Next up for the grand price of £4.50 is a vintage Hogs of Fife gilet. I do suspect it might even, it might even be a liner. Let's bring that down there. So unprofessional of me. Yeah, it might even be a liner, to be fair. Or it might just be a gilet. Horrible colour, isn't it? Look at that rank. Oh, tissue. But there's a market for everything. Somebody will buy that in that colour. Nice little £4.50 into 2025. Never heard of this brand before, which means it could probably be a fake. But I saw Alessandro Zavetti Milano and thought, oh, jeez, Milano. <laughs> stinks of money. And the T-shirt actually stinks, to be fair. Not been dried properly. I don't know. I'll check to see what it is in a minute. But is it legit? Who knows? Should we have a look? What's it called? Alessandro Zavetti. Alessandro Zavetti. Olivetti? Zavetti, mate. Shit. Load of old shit. 12 quid, 15 quid, 18 quid. I don't know, it's alright, isn't it? Nice bit of vintage fodder, I suppose. Speaking of Zavettis and Sonettis and whatever else, is this geezer still popular? Zavetti Canada? Is that the same bloke? <laughs> Probably the same people. Zavetti Canada, now all, all the teenagers are loving this kind of stuff at the minute, or they was at least. This is a size large, that's a men's one. Is the hype still up for it? If it is, I paid $5.50, I'll be able to squeeze a nice bit of profit out of that. I'm going to guess off the top of my head, 25 to 35 That's going to be my guess. Quite a nice one to be fair. Would I wear it? Don't know, it depends if the hype died or not. If it has, I'll probably wear it. You'll notice when I was in the car, I said, oh no, I've just found a hole. I did. I've got this Pebble Beach Collection t-shirt. I've sold these before, they sell quite well. But the thing is, it was folded up, and while it was folded, I saw a hole in there, there it is, look. If that's even the only one, it's in the sleeve. Is there more? I don't know, but it's a nice big size. It was only £2.75, do you know what I mean? I used to spend that on a sausage roll at Greg's. And of course, the one we were all waiting for. I don't know if it's vintage or not, it feels quite vintage. It does feel it. On an Alexandra tag, I was looking to see if it was made in America or not. But it's a, just a really nice, heavily embroidered Wiley Coyote top on that window frame cartoon style. I really like it. It's a size M, medium, but obviously 90s medium by the look of it. I think it might fit. If it does, none of you will see it. If it doesn't, I'll stick it on Vinted. £4.50. I'll do some research, estimation, 18 quid, something like that. Really, really nice. It's so heavily done. Like, there's no, no messing around there. There we go. Popped into the Jazza. Spent 25 quid. Topped up the eBay store by an average of... 80, 90 quid. <laughs> we'll have some of that. See you tomorrow for sure this time. I told you, I meant it when I said it. This is the last cut section of the video. We're going to box it off today. Got a few sales going out. We're going to pick a winner. And I don't know what's going on. It's been three days. As mentioned, yesterday Ada was poorly. Today she's obviously still poorly, so she's still off. So I've been stuck. I can't wait for that chair to arrive. I've been stuck at home with her doing barely any work. It is now five past one and I'm just starting. So, sales. Melly has picked up the baby Groots that I paid £3 for from the charity shop, I think. £2, maybe. Can't remember. £8, all in, bank transfer, £3 postage, £2 paid. I should get a nice little £3 profit-ish. Appreciate you, Melly and Steve. Mr. Fat Punk, Mr. Fat Punk, <laughs> Fat Punk. Right, where the fuck is Vinted gone? I think we'll do eBay first actually because they're in the way. These little hanging 
monkeys, little bits of tree, and you put them on somewhere and they hang, basically. Do that twice because there's there's two of them. I can't actually see. Everything's playing up on me right now. All of me. Thirteen ninety nine all in. I paid two pounds fifty from a charity shop. Beautiful. Sixty three pound and sixty nine pence is this big lossy motor racing sport bag. I say motor. It's like RC cars. Big branded on the fronts, on the sides. Inside it's got loads of compartments for all your RC racing needs. Paid a fiver from that from a charity shop. I've had it two years. Listed it just the other day. I've been dragging this around from garage to unit, back to garage. Absolutely ridiculous behaviour. Oh, I've just ended and relisted that. There we go. Ah, Brian, massively appreciate that, mate. He's picked up the second to last Eden Park sweater for about 18 99 I think. Something like that. I did this for 19 99 I think he sent it off. How much did he even go for? 18 99 he used my discount coupon. Brian, massively appreciate this, mate. Big Brian, 87. You're the same age as me. We're getting old now, aren't we, Brian? It's happening. It's creaking. The knees and the back. Sick of it. Brian, massively appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. I don't know what's going on anymore. Rich has picked up the Ugg boots. He's going to Sweden, I think, or somewhere. Where are you going? Iceland. He asked me, are these actually made for outdoors? Because they look very snug inside. I'm like, yeah, bro. These are some trainers. Did I forget to take pictures of the soles on the, on the listing? Or is Rich doing rich things? Yeah, I took pictures of the soles. Yeah, they're for indoors, outdoors, but also wear them indoors if you want. Trainers, they're trainers. Paid £5 from the charity shop. He sent me a lovely offer of one, two, three, four. I can't resist. I can't resist. Although I would be able to resist that on a £100 order, don't you worry. Listed this today while I was sat in the living room because I had some stuff in my photo album. I thought, I'm not just going to do nothing for the day. Doctor Who. This is Captain Jack Harness in his overcoat variant. Sold for £5.93. £5.93. PSP game bundle now, like two cased, two non-cased. Sold for £3.33. Just getting rid of it. Was going back and forward with the buyer. His name is Dan. If you do watch the channel, big up, mate. I appreciate you. If not, then you're just a guy that I was having a chat back and forward with. Carl has picked up the Avisu jacket, paid £5 for this from the car boot sale, it was just hanging up there. It's a really nice one. Big spell out on one side, reversible to a nice navy with a very subtle Avisu gull going across through the middle. It's worth a hell of a lot more than what I sold it for, but it does have bits of damages on it, which is all listed in the descriptions and on the photos. But £25, massively appreciate that. I think your name's Carl. Pretty sure it's Carl. I might have already said Carl as well. I just looked before I started filming and realised... Oh, Massively appreciate the pickup, dude. Because he did say, um, keep up the great work. And he sent me a screenshot of me on his telly. <laughs> saying I'm watching now. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? I'm just losing it, boys and girls. I'm losing it. Nightmare bugs. Has picked up. What is this, a snood? And the Trekmate's gloves. Snood for one pound and a penny, and the Trekmates gloves for three pounds eighty-five. So about about a five they're just under. Chrissy, massively appreciate it. On their way to you soon. What a beaut! What a beaut is Chrissy. That's it for the sales of today, which is Wednesday, by the way. I think you've seen Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in this video. Oh god! Let's pick a winner for the last Ricky sticker. Good luck, everyone, because after this, even I'm not going to own one. That's an iconic piece of history. Can't wait to make the next one. Oh, and by the way, can we just appreciate the flexi spot table and how amazing it is? Because without it, I would never have been able to get all of that under my table. Do you know what I mean? My table was normally down here. I've adjusted the size and you just bring it back down to where you need it. Where are you? There you go. There we go. Just pull it back down there. Beautiful. Please. Right. Look at the state of it. Shut up, mate. We've heard it all before. That's the video we need. Pop the link into here, fetch it, anything goes on this one. And the amount of comments for the sticker is 100 and something, surely. 120, and the winner is Tracy Smith. Your videos elevate my day. I see what you did there, going up. I'd love the sticker. Well, Tracy Smith, you've won it. Contact me, links down below, Instagram and emails. And all of the items that I use for my business are also linked down below. Get a lot of people saying to me, where do I get this from? What do you use here? Everything's down below. Always has been. So enjoy.
there you go. Thank you so much for bearing with me on this video. I know you've enjoyed the randomness anyway, so. Can't wait till this fucking chair gets here. I know you enjoy the randomness. Uh, I'm going to crack on and get this lot posted. I'm going to crack on now and get this lot picked and packed. It's already picked. Pack it. I'm just going to pack it. I'll see you later.